Let's recap on where we're at. We've got a list of tickets in a table from the ticket database table. Uh, we can add a new ticket. Da -da -da. Click on add or click back. And on an existing ticket, we can perform the update action. Da -da -da. Once we've finished making the changes, click update and that will update the database. So one glaring omission is a delete button. We can add new ones, view and update existing ones, but we need to be able to delete an existing ticket as well. So we're going to tackle that little task in uh, this video. To do this, we're going to add a new button. Well, it's going to be more, uh, it, it's a link really, just like the update button here. So let's find where this is to the project it will be in resources views tickets index so here underneath the actions heading we've got this so let's just copy that uh, we'll format it a bit better actually so indent that So we'll call it delete and we'll give it, I think bootstrap styling is warning. I think warning is appropriate because we're performing a delete action. So over on the page, refresh, uh, not keen on <laughs> yellow, but let's leave it as that for now. I think the styling might be better if it was, uh, I can't remember, it's warning or danger or something like that. Um, oh, it's al already tried warning, let's try danger. Okay, so that's, that's red for danger, delete. I think we'll stick with that. Um, you can see that the, the other columns haven't accommodated the size of this one. Uh, we'll sort that out later, but for now, um, let's focus on where this uh, delete action will take us. We're going to put delete in the path. And we're going to keep the uh, ticket ID, because that's how we're identifying the ticket that we're deleting. So tickets, delete, and ticket ID. Uh, we'll go back to the page. Uh, just hover over the delete button uh, just make sure we've got the path right and it looks right to me now that we know that the um, the path is right what's next what's missing what do we need well um, we haven't got a root set up for that so let's go to roots web PHP and let's copy this one And do the same for delete. Okay, this time it's going to be a delete uh, method. Okay, let's go to the ticket controller. And you'll see we don't have a delete method. That's okay. Um, the reason I'm doing it this way is because uh, I want to avoid the situation where um, on here, when you click the delete, it just does the delete. Um, I would rather have a confirmation screen where the user can say, yes, I really do want to delete this ticket. Because, I mean, dele deleting is a bit of a serious action. So I just want to make sure that the user knows what they're doing and they're happy that they are deleting this ticket. So click delete, uh, confirmation screen pops up, uh, which will be controlled by the new delete method that we haven't coded yet. On clicking confirm, then the uh, destroy method that we do have here uh, will be invoked. So 
Uh, let's put the delete method here. Public function delete. Oh, functio, the Italian version. Um, right, here we're going to return another view. But you can't guess what this is going to be called. It's going to be called tickets dot delete. Right, save that. Over in resources. Da -da -da -da. Now the delete page will be very much like the show page. So guess what? Let's copy that and call it delete. Let's open it up, and what shall we do? Uh, I just want to uh, put some distinguishing feature into this page so that when we hit this page, we can see that that's the one being returned. So, um, hold on, let's go over to update. Uh, I mean, really, uh, we need some kind of heading saying update ticket. Um, so we'll do that, shall we do that now? Yeah, let's do that now. Let's go into show and hijack the, I'll just show you, hijack this heading and put something like update ticket 101. So where is that uh, tickets? There we go. So update ticket echo this out and I'm sure we've got this already somewhere um, or maybe not I don't know let's just type it so tickets ID so update tickets 101 so that worked let's do the same thing with uh, delete and we'll just copy this and this time it's delete right back over in the ticket co oh, let's save this while we remember um, back over in ticket controller right we're going to need the uh, ticket aren't we so let's Type hint it, pass that in, and we can pass it to the view, like we did with the uh, the show method, which I'll just show you for confirmation. Uh, where's show? So the show method is accepting that ticket, and it's passing it to the view much the same as we are now doing with the uh, delete method so that looks good save that right let's hit the back button and click the delete oh <laughs> well that didn't work oh my god okay uh, let's start from the beginning um, this new route tickets delete we are missing the ticket aren't we we're missing the uh, ticket so let's just copy that and paste it in there because when we hit this method we need to pass it the ticket and that's what we're not doing so refresh the page there we go and it's got the delete heading so we know we're hitting the right view so Whoa, look at this. Our input fields allow update to them. And this is the delete confirmation screen. Well, we the only action we want to be performing on this page is the delete action. We don't want to be changing uh, or allowing change to the existing fields. So let's go to the page and just put disabled 
on each input. Let's just check the first one first. Uh, okay, that is disabled. Can't change that. That's good. So do the same on the other input fields. Okay, all looks good now. The button is a delete button. And let's have danger styling let's see what that gives us okay yeah and we've still got the back button but what will happen when we click on the delete button well uh, the it's going to be a post method the action will be no it will be this so let's just copy that Paste that into here. Ideally, you might want a delete method um, accompanying this request. Um, but, you know, and there are ways that you can spoof the method in Laravel, but you know, really, the only post method that this page will give us is for the for the delete action so it doesn't matter you know we're going to leave the method as post and we'll change the route let's add an entry for delete so this time it will be a post still got the ticket there and this time it's the destroy method that we already have in the controller but we've just not coded it out yet save that and over in ticket controller destroy okay this is the method that's actually going to uh, delete the ticket from the beta the database so let's what did we do for update Okay. We don't need to update any fields there. We need to do something similar to that. So let's do this. Ticket delete and after this we need to return the user to root so we're just going to send them back to the index page so uh, tickets dot index save that okay let's uh, give that a whirl Let's just go back to the uh, index page and uh, start afresh. So we're on 101, delete, and let's confirm delete, see what happens. Oh, it's only not worked. Let's see whether it actually did do the delete. Uh, it was 101, wasn't it? So... Um, Look how slow that is. Uh, we're looking for 101. He is it there? Okay, so 101 is there. The delete didn't work. So um, destroy. It it's nothing to do with the redirect. It's something there or prior to that point. Let's do a die dump on the ticket just see whether we uh, reach this point and see what's in the ticket let's go back refresh hmm interesting 
You know what? Let's take this out. Do that. Try again. Delete, delete, okay, so now we're getting the die dumped ticket, so it was the um, the action in the form that was uh, confusing it, so let's get rid of the die dump, save that, we'll go back, go back, refresh, and try again, so again, it's 101, that we're going to delete. Okay, we've been returned to tickets.index. Uh, the display is starting at uh, 102. So let's, I mean, we know that we have deleted this 101 uh, ticket, but let's just refresh just to uh, satisfy ourselves. Oop, there we go. So 100, 102. 101 has been deleted so mission accomplished while we're here and while the video hasn't run into an hour just yet let's tidy things up um, this hash column here uh, is actually a ticket so let's change the column heading to be ticket also um, on this index page we're displaying all the details of the ticket. Um, really, we we don't need to see the description. Um, we could do with seeing the summary on this page, but we could get rid of the description from the table and just have it viewable in the show page. So let's do that. Let's get rid of description here. And from here as well. Save something for the update page. And refresh that. So, do you know, that looks a whole lot neater to me. In the next video, we're going to look at informational messages. So, for example, if we go into update something like this, click on update, we're going to add a little informational box at the top that says something like ticket 102 has been updated or, or just ticket has been updated likewise a confirmational message when we click on delete and delete that ticket has been deleted uh, to display at the top so we'll do that in the next video